Okay, I'm at the Camo residence. I'm just wanted to chat quickly about the lighting. Okay, so you got the path lights in here. I would probably add one more path light here. So when people park, it's easier to get through here. All right, and then other ideas for lighting is you could uplight these pear trees. Um, you could do, I would, I would say, I would do two lights per tree. All right, or you could do one light per tree. If you do two lights, you do on either side and shine it this way. If you do one light, it would have to be relatively close to the tree. So I, and the problem is the grass is right there. And I don't want to put the light on the grass. So you really have to do two lights per tree if you want to light these pear trees up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total. Okay. Um, you could consider just another idea is you could consider uh, uplighting the two white columns. All right, so that's an idea. Some people light up the house. So when you look, I'll send you an email, you can look at different pictures, but some people do light up a house. I think originally when we spoke about it, I didn't want to do it because the problem is you light up your house, it's gonna catch the eaves. There's almost like two different levels. So I, I recommend against that. But I would do possibly the two white columns and the three tree hydrangeas in here. Those are, that would be nice. Okay. Um, I would do one light for each of these cherry trees. So there's two cherry trees. That would be nice. Okay. You could consider uplighting the uh, stone pillars. Some people do that. So one here and one there. And then if you did that on this side, then you do the same thing on the other side. So that's four pillars. Okay. You gotta think whether you want path lights for the rear walkway, but if you did, you'd do like one path light here. And then you'd end up doing one path light here, one in the center, one here, so that's three, three additional ones. And then I would do one here. So that's a total of five path lights if you want to do path lights for your stepping stone pathway. Okay. Up lights for the new tree hydrangeas that would go installed behind the pool. And you might also do one path light here. So when you're walking around at nighttime, that's an idea. Okay, and you might do one more path light here. So you have, again, you're walking around this at nighttime. You might consider that. And that's about it. Oh, and then we were talking also about the plants in the back of the house over here. So again, some simple plantings through here and then from a safety factor, you wanna put some plants around the, the, uh, the window well. The window well is like 12 feet by four, all right? Some of these heads are going to, have to be relocated, like we talked about before, irrigation wise. That's it. Talk to you soon. Thanks.